Good morning, everyone. My name's Sean Donovan, and I'm the Economic Development Specialist with the Harrisburg Regional Chamber and Capital Region Economic Development Corporation, also known as CREDIC, in Harrisburg. We, serve, we directly serve a three-county area uh, in the Harrisburg metropolitan area, uh, Cumberland, Dauphin, and Perry counties. We provide business development services, uh, as well as chamber opportunities, networking opportunities to our members. So what I want to talk to you today is a little bit about the regional business community and things that we can offer, uh, as well as what it means to be a business community and how we as individual business owners uh, and developers and everybody come together to build the greater community uh, that we see before us. So the first thing I kind of want to say is talk a little bit more about what it means to be a region. Uh, we've been a regional chamber for, for many, many years. Uh, the Harrisburg Regional Chamber started in 1883 as the Harrisburg Board of Trade and in 1914 became the Chamber of Commerce that it is today. And we cover a very large area and a, a very unique territory in Pennsylvania in that we do spill across county lines and we cover an entire area. Today, the Harrisburg Chamber has about 1,200 members uh, that come together in numerous activities each and every year uh, to network, to do business development, kind of bring everybody together. And that's really kind of the role of the chambers, kind of be the center of the community uh, and bring things together. However, that's not the end of everything. Uh, as a regional chamber, we can't be in every community, we can't be on every street corner, we can't promote every main street within our area. Uh, the Harrisburg population right now is about 600,000 people, and it's split out, you know, as, as we know in Pennsylvania, we have a lot of municipalities. Uh, we cover, they said, three counties and 103 municipalities. So with that, one of the things that we found that's extremely important is to partner with other organizations, whether it's other smaller chambers, whether it's local business associations, Whoever it is that's promoting business in their corner of the community uh, and wherever kind of businesses come together, we want to encourage businesses to work together in groups wherever they are to strengthen themselves, to bring themselves together, promote themselves, um, and bring themselves up. So we've taken that a step farther in the past couple years in where, in addition to just working with those, those organizations and kind of working smaller, We've also looked the other way and said, okay, Harrisburg is also now part of a larger region. We all sit along the 81 corridor. Everybody's very familiar with what's going on there and the business development that's going on the whole way from Virginia up through Harrisburg. So in addition to just saying we're here and we're 600,000 people, we started looking around and saying, okay, how are we similar to the communities around us in other, other cities and other metropolitan areas that are near us? And what we quickly found is that within a 50 mile radius, which in most other parts of the country is considered the same city more or less, that there are other communities. We had Chambersburg, we had York, we had Lancaster, we had Lebanon. And so we started looking at this and saying, how can we work together with our other communities in our immediate area and, and kind of do the same thing that we've been doing with the smaller local micro communities and how can we work together to provide better business services to everybody in the broader community? What we've also started to talk about is that by working together, we can also raise the profile of our communities. Any one of our communities standing alone is going to appear a little bit smaller, maybe not somewhere where another business is going to want to be. By standing together and kind of pooling our resources, we can start talking about becoming a bigger region. So with that, we've always found that we have cooperated together, and we went back to an organization that existed for 15 or 20 years where those same leaders had come together and we just looked at it a little bit differently and said, how can we take this and, and what can we now do? And we're still now in the process of building out ways that we can work together. So whether it's you know, sharing resources amongst the, uh, the, the organizations or just kind of sharing uh, information about what's going on in our local communities, what's going well, what's not going well. You know, each of our communities has strengths and weaknesses. We have availability of labor in some areas and there's shortages of labor in, other, in others. How do we make that work out? How do we bring that back together? So it, as we've gone through this process, the other thing that we found is that the more we talk together, the more credibility we get at both the state and, and national levels. Again, as I said, Harrisburg alone is, is 600,000 people. That's the 80th largest city in the country, which is pretty sizable on its own. As we pull together the eight county region and we start looking at the numbers and we start thinking about that as an area, which 
Coincidentally, those eight counties are also a media market, uh, is what we found at, at the end. That takes us from individual cities of about five or 600,000 to a region of uh, almost two million people. And if we would actually get ourselves coordinated together and start talking together as a consolidated region, we would move from the 80th uh, largest city in the country to being the 34th largest city in the country. There's actually five NFL markets that would be smaller than there are consolidated region. And, and they probably cover a much larger geographic footprint than what we cover here in central Pennsylvania. So there's plenty of opportunities available uh, for companies and businesses to locate here. Uh, and again, part of our cooperation isn't just to kind of talk about ourselves and make ourselves appear a little bit bigger and, and to, to gain credibility, but it's also to make sure that we're supporting the business community here in a much better way, in a much more consolidated way. Uh, we all have our territories, we all have things, and again, as organizations, there's things that we're good at and there's things that we're not good at. And by sharing those resources and sharing those abilities, we're better able to support the business community here in central Pennsylvania through a variety of services. Uh, part of the uh, organizations that we've brought together, we've brought together uh, the World Trade Center Harrisburg, which covers the eight county area. We've brought together the South Central WIB. Again, uh, that's the Workforce Investment Board that covers all eight counties. These are organizations already existing that realize the power of our market. So we took those, we took our, in the economic development organizations, we brought everybody together, uh, and we started to also bring in other outside entities. We have the Small Business Development Center Network that helps small businesses, you know, kind of lift themselves up, gives them consulting services, uh, and, and brings them in. We also have uh, a number of other partners we've brought in. You know, we've been Franklin partners that's at the state level that provides resources for businesses. These are all agencies and organizations that are out there that exist to help businesses move forward. There's many different businesses represented here in the room today. Each business has a different set of needs and a different set of things that they need to be successful. What we want to do as a region is we want to talk to the businesses and work with them on an individual basis and kind of treat them uh, with the ability of being an individual what we've had in the past, uh, and one of the things I found most successful is, if we talk to a business and we find out what your need is, and we talk it through, we can find the right partners and we can find the right people to bring to the table to help you with whatever challenges it, it might be. If you're having a workforce issue, we can get the Workforce Investment Board involved. Maybe it is an issue of uh, workforce training. Maybe it's an issue of just getting qualified workers. Those are all things that can be overcome. Maybe your business does exporting and you need to get into a new market, you need, to bring your, you, know, you need to bring your product to another country, we have resources that can help with that. Again, alone, no one particular partner, no one individual can do it all, but collectively together as a group, we're much stronger as a region. So those are some things that we like to keep in mind. So some other things that we've also noticed as a region uh, and this applies to most of our eight counties as well, is that a lot of our companies that are here and are very successful are companies that have started here. So we spend a lot of time working with existing companies because the best thing for us to do is to work with companies that are already here in our market, again, continuing to help them grow. We have, uh, you know, as an example, and some of these go back a long, long time, uh, you know, there's the story in, you know, in our region of a, of a, a fairly sizable company now. Uh, the company started with an entrepreneur in Lancaster. He started making candy out of a storefront. Started selling candy around Lancaster. Eventually started selling candy in Philadelphia. Over time, his business grew and, and prospered. He sold, the pro he sold that particular company to another company for, at that time, a sizable sum of money moved to Dauphin County because he had an idea. He went to Europe. He saw a new product that was being developed in Europe and he thought he could make that here. So he came, when he came back, he looked for an area that had access to fresh milk, sugar, and cocoa. So Dauphin County has plenty of dairy farms, 
We have access to the port of Baltimore where there's sugar and the port of Philadelphia where there's cocoa. Started bringing all these products in. Build a factory. Eventually build a town. Today we know it as the Hershey Company. And the spin-off of what's happened with that community has been more than just the single company. Again, it's building the community. His, his vision and, and what he built was, you know, ended up with a medical center. There's now a children's hospital, cancer center. There's a biotechnology research park. There's tourist and amusement attractions. All of those things came together and was more than just the single initial company. <clears throat> So other than, there's plenty of other opportunities like that. And again, that's one thing that maybe nobody was specifically thinking about economic development at the time. But those are things that are extremely important to the community in order to bring out and have success. Uh, and again, as we have examples of these types of businesses, there's more than just that, that example in our community. We have numerous other examples of very large companies that started out very small. It takes a long time, it takes a lot of dedication, but typically what we find here in this region is once a company comes in and they find their niche and they find what they're supposed to have, they're most likely gonna stay and they're not gonna move away. <clears throat> so I just wanna wrap up today uh, with my presentation and kind of talk a little bit about, again, it's that sense of community. If you're not involved with your local business association, if you're not involved with the local chamber, if you're not with the regional chamber, it's definitely beneficial for your, for your business to get involved with those groups. Uh, again, in addition to the networking activities, they have access or can connect you to many different business resources. Uh, you know, again, we mentioned a few of them. There could be exporting resources, it could be workforce resources, there can be uh, business finance resources, and again, it's just a matter of having that open conversation, working with that group, and trying to help find uh, what can be done as a region to help build your business and keep you strong here in our region. So I'd like to thank everybody today. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to speak.